so this is the symbol of OR gate here input 1 input 2 and here output ok this is the pin diagram of IC7432 7432 and in this IC having 4 OR gate OR gate 1 OR gate 2 OR gate 3 and OR gate 4 this should be connected to the ground this should be connected to the 5 volt so it is pin number 1 to 7 here and 8 to 14 so let's see how to use this IC we will consider only one OR gate ok so it will be easier to understand I have taken OR gate 1 here pin number 1 pin number 2 and pin number 3 ok now in the breadboard we will connect one LED with the output with 100 ohms resistor because we are supplying 5 volt with the input we will connect one switch here here plus 5 volt with the input 2 also we will connect one switch here and plus 5 volt we will also connect one LED so whenever the switch is turned on it will glow same like this and we have to connect one resistor here because we are connecting to the 5 volt ok 100 ohm resistor is enough so let's see this in the breadboard put the IC here pin number 1 7 8 and 14 2 switches 2 LED for the inputs the output LED pin number 14 connected to the positive power rail pin number 7 goes to ground cathode of the LED is connected to the 100 ohm resistor and then it will go to ground connect all the LEDs with 100 ohm resistor now connect input pin with the LEDs pin number 1 and pin number 2 pin number 3 is connected to the output LED connect two switches with the plus VCC now connect other side of the switch with the input 1 for this switch also pin number 2 now our circuit is completed connect power supply positive here and ground here now we are getting one error here if, even if we are not applying any input to the IC and I am not pressing any switch ok but then also we are getting output when I press the switch it should get the input and then it should glow but without pressing it the LED is glowing so we have to solve this problem let's see this circuit again up to this we have completed but we are getting output without pressing the switch so we have to connect one more resistor here and connect it to the ground it is called pull down resistor and value should be not less than 10 kilo ohms so we will apply 10 kilo ohms for this input also we have to connect one resistor here and connect it to the ground and the value not less than 10 kilo ohms now let's come to the breadboard connection so 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected between pin number 1 and ground pin number 1 here and ground here ok one is connected and another so we have connected our pull down resistor let's see again connect the power supply now see we are not getting any output here press input 1 here see we are getting output so input 1 let's say A and input 2 let's say B and output Y and I have explained about this in the previous video about the truth table ok again let's see all the conditions 0 0 means we are getting 0 here ok so for the condition 0 1 here 0 1 press this one we are getting one output for 1 0 we are getting one output for both 1 1 we are getting one output ok so what happens if pull down resistor is disconnected see we are getting one error so it should be connected all the time now this is 2 input OR gate what if we need 3 input or 4 input OR gate so we have to see 
the pin diagram of the IC7432. So this is our IC. Just now we have connected input 1 here, input 2 here. Okay. And this one is output. Now what we have to do is to get 3 input or gate. We have to just connect the output of this gate to the input of the second gate. Okay. And here our input 3. So this will be the our 3 input or gate. If we need more then just connect this output to the input of this gate. So it will be our 4 input or gate. Or if we need 5 input then just connect this output to this input and we will get here 5 input or gate. So let's see for only 3 input or gate. So we need one more switch and one more LED and one more 100 ohms resistor and pull down resistor also. So I am removing it so you can see it clearly. I am connecting switch 1 here. This will be input 1, this will be input 2 and this will be input 3. So we need to connect pin number 3 to the pin number 4 because pin number 4 is input of next OR gate. See this pin number 3 output of the first gate and pin number 4 is input of the next OR gate. So we have to connect this both. Now connect 10 kilo ohms resistor with pin number 5 because it will be our input 3. Connect this also to the positive power rail connect input 3 with the pin number 5 input 2 goes to pin number 2 and input 1 is connected to the pin number 1 like before ok we will get output from the pin number 6 our output LED should connected to the pin number 6 100 ohm resistor is connected to the cathode of the LED connect pin number 5 with the anode of the LED. Pin number 1 for the input LED 1 and pin number 2 for the input LED 2. Okay. So it's completed. Now let's verify our circuit. Now we have 3 input here A, B, C and 1 output. So what will be the our input conditions? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so we'll check all this for this mathematical expression will be a plus b plus c equal to y so by this we can see here only this output will be 0 and rest of the output will be 1. So let's verify it whether it is correct or not. Connect power supply. So as we are not pressing any of the switch, we are not getting any output and this LED also turned off. So we can write here 0. Now let's see this output A, B, C. Okay. We are getting 1. 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. Okay. So we can have 4 input or 5 input or get with this IC itself. So this is all about today. If you like this video then please like, share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video we will see and get constructed only with the diode. Till then stay happy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.